Happy Tuesday, NLI Nation. You know, it's a special week, one of my favorite holidays. Uh, hopefully everyone has awesome plans for Thursday, Thanksgiving. Watch a lot of football, have a lot of fun with family. Never take that for granted, because that's the most important thing in life is family. Um, today we're going to talk about when does the recruiting process start? All right, there's a lot of misconceptions about this. You wouldn't believe if you were a fly on the wall of my office reading emails and text messages and stuff I get from kids. Uh, it's apparent that not only prospects, but moms and dads and you know, some other people uh, coaching and helping uh, your kid in the travel ball world really don't know the answer to this question. So we're going to talk about it right now. All right. If you're a projectable mid-major D1 guy or power five guy, which there are very few of, okay? But for the sake of this video, assume you are, all right? The recruiting process starts uh, normally in eighth grade for the Power Five guy. Now, pitchers are a different animal, all right? Obviously, if a Power Five runs into a, a left-handed pitcher throwing 93 to 95, who's an incoming senior, they're going to entertain that kid, all right? But I'm... This is uh, in reference mainly to positional guys. Pitchers are a whole different animal, but this is uh, in reference to positional guys. Okay, when does that process start? It starts in eighth grade. Simple as that. That's the simple answer. Uh, you go on different uh, venues and look up schools that have quote-unquote commits, verbal commits. Um, you'll find that there's numerous power fives who have numerous 2024s right now verbally offered and committed. All right, that is when the process starts. Okay, most people, when they hear that, are shocked. And the first question asked is, well, how can a Power 5 school verbally offer a 14 to 15 year old? Well, simple, they just verbally offer them. Okay, it's non-binding to that prospect or the institution, all right? It's just a verbal offer. Again, there's many pros and cons uh, to verbally committing to a school as a freshman, okay? It might feel like the pressure's off and you know you can coast for three and a half years and walk on the campus uh, three and a half years later and get at it, okay? That, that is the biggest uh, pitfall to many who find out a couple weeks before early signing period in their senior year when they get a phone call uh, from the coaching staff saying, hey, Johnny, you know, you just don't fit into our plans. We'll help you try to find a JUCO where you can go two years and we'll stay on you. And if you produce there, then we'll come and get you. Um, but for sakes of this video, okay, that's when the recruiting process starts. Simple as that. Um, you know, there's communication, personal communication between coaches and that eighth grader, ninth grader. And again, I get another question in reference to this. Well, NCAA rules state that a college coach can't personally communicate with a prospect until September 1st of his junior year. That is correct. They cannot initiate a phone call to the prospect. However, if there's arrangements made uh, through people like us or whoever, that communicate with coaches on a uh, daily basis year round. All right, those phone calls are arranged by us where the prospect initiates the phone call to the college who is on him and that particular recruiting coordinator, and they can talk as long as they want. That's how that works. All right, there's a lot about this system that you know, I'm, and I'm not trying to be uh, a know it all or uh, you know, rude. But there's a lot about the system that people just don't know, all right? And I'm telling you right now, you, you need to have people in your corner that know what they're doing, especially, especially uh, if you're a projectable mid-major power five guy. A lot of people think, oh, well, if I'm that good, they're just going to find me. Uh, they may find you. That's correct. Do you know what to do when they do find you? Or are you just going to blindly verbally commit to a school because it looks good on Twitter. If you do, well, you might be one of those guys that get that phone call two weeks before early signing period, your senior year, and now you're 
hunting right quick for a juco or whatever just so you can get to the next level all right know what you're doing that's the bottom line know how the system works if you don't you're going to get burned like tens of thousands of people do uh who are projectable at the college level but think uh they know it and ultimately find out that they don't uh don't be one of those guys if you want to play at the next level you can if you're projectable but you got to know what you're doing um Hopefully this information helped. Listen, happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. Enjoy your family. Enjoy this week. It's a special week. Keep grinding. Reach out to us. Uh, I'm on TikTok at NLI Scouting Baseball. My main man, Bobby Roberts, who's uh, blowing up on TikTok, is under Smash Zone Baseball. We have a website. We're all over social media. Educate yourself, all right? And then... Uh, you'll be able to navigate this process a whole lot better. Happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you guys uh, soon. Take care.